Hi everybody, Mark Smith here from Smith Performance. You know us by our Chargers and our VW Jetta Utes. I'm here to walk you around our newest product, which is also our immediate best seller, which is the new Beetle Ute. The cool thing about the Beetle Ute is that it uses a base car of the new Beetle, which right now is kind of out of favor because of its retro design, which also makes it amazingly inexpensive. Turn it into a truck, however, like we did here, and you've got something really special. So let's walk around real quick. This is a Turbo S model. Believe it or not, this is a 180 horsepower, new Beetle, has the big KO3 turbo, has a six-speed transmission. Everything is really cool on this car. Stock big brakes, 1,500 bucks I paid for this car. Here's how you turn it into a Ute. The first step on any of these cars is to chop the roof three inches behind the pillar and to take out the rest of the rear surrounding, all of the quarter panels, the rear bumper, all the details on the Beetle unbolt. You don't really have to cut too much. You're taking the rear bumper cover off, you're taking the fenders off with it, it's all exposed and you can see exactly where you're gonna cut. Once you cut, the fun begins. You've got this bare car that's cut and we have a YouTube video on how to do it. Uh, you'll see on our Smith Performance YouTube channel, just a general video of what the car looks like cut, which is kind of interesting for you guys that are gonna do this yourself. So once you cut the roof and you trim away all the metal that's in the way, you can assemble what we think is the coolest part of the car, other than the design, which is the aluminum bed. So come take a look. This is eighth inch thick aluminum formed at the Smith factory here, turned into this glorious hot rod style bed. The cool thing about the aluminum is it doesn't rust. The support bars underneath are aluminum. The plates and gussets that we use to reinforce the car after it's cut, those are aluminum. There's no steel to rust on this car. Once you finish bolting together the aluminum bed, I pre-paint the pieces before I put them together. You slide the rear surround in that holds the rear window. You assemble the fiberglass quarter panels on the outside and assemble the tailgate. Now remember, every Smith Ute has to have a functional tailgate. You can't really have a usable truck without a good low tailgate. In this case, the tailgate is also aluminum made at the Smith factory. The outer skin is fiberglass. But this is why Smith Utes are so popular. Everything on the car is first class quality. When I owned Factory 5 Racing, that was our theme. Provide amazing value for the money and Smith Utes are no different. Uh, disclaimer, I've sold Factory 5 Racing to my brother Dave five or six years ago. This is my newest company, so we're not connected to Factory 5 at all, even though I still feel like the father of Factory 5. There is the final product. We love how it goes together. We love the usability of this car and we love the quality of it. So when you're finally doing your uh, project on your own, this is what you're gonna end up with. Remember, this is a daily driver that I'm bringing home. We're gonna have two of these in my family. It's the kind of car that any hot rod guy can build with his family, toss the keys to any driver in the family, feel safe, feel confident, and let them have as much fun as you have had as a hot rod guy your whole life.